entire new band, the Fab Four, has a new member? Or is it not that new as I expected? It's not really a, a new member. Uh, it's more like a collaboration um, because since a couple of years ago we have started to to invite uh, friends to, to join our, <laughs> our music party and, and we have done a CD with a, a French harmonica player, yeah. Olivier Kerr Rio, and we have worked with uh, some singers, some horn players, and now I felt like it was time to, to do a piano e encounter. <laughs> and uh, I have always uh, listened a lot to Rita Marco Tulli and I always admired her playing. So I have been thrilled to, to ask her for a, for a collaboration. And there are some um, songs in your record. There is one, um, the titled um, "Rest in Peace." Mm. Did someone leave to an upper upper room? No, it's yeah. it's uh, the, it's not the full title. In brackets, it's "Stay uh, Rest in Peace and Stay Alive." Oh, so okay. it's more of a way of uh, how to live. You have to rest to be. Alive. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to take your, your rests uh, to, to be able to experience life. Uh, for me, who kind of have a tendency to run, <laughs> to, <laughs> I have to back a little bit to, to let stuff happen. And that's mm -hmm. about, that's a song about. Okay. Yeah, this is the sound of the song that comes over, the spirit. It started out as a, I was practicing my, my daily routines. Yeah. I, I do a, a book called, uh, or a, method called Max Schlossberg, he, for both trumpets and trombone. Mm -hmm. And then there's this, uh, a practice, a exercise, yeah, yeah, an exercise that starts like that. So it's, I actually mm -hmm. stole yeah, yeah, yeah. the first note, but it's like, it, that's how it happens sometimes when I write. I focus goes out when I'm practicing and then it becomes a song instead. That's the way you write it? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. I, Not sitting there and thinking? I mean, it's sometimes, but it's most of the times that I, I, I just, I just uh, find myself with a piece of melody. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, and that's also why it's important to, to rest in peace, because otherwise the melodies can't come. Yeah. Um, if you just, but that's more on my, <laughs> in no, my, right. my life goal of not. Uh, if he rests, a lot of creati creat creativity mm. comes. And to be bored, that's my biggest problem. Bored? To be bored. I mean, you take your phone and you take your oh. you watch series. For this CD, I was actually deciding to take, no, I have to just sit yeah. here. I know it will come, something yeah. will come and we'll see. I don't have to judge what it is. But I wrote, like the, the beginning of the CD, during three days, like three full days, just yeah, sitting on the countryside. And, mm -hmm. and that was the only way to do it, to start, get yeah. started. Mm -hmm. But it's, I, I, have, I have a kind of a conflict, conflicted relationship with creating. Mm -hmm. I haven't, after all these years, uh, found the exact perfect uh, recipe for it. But um, I have to, I realize I have to create spaces for it because otherwise yes, it won't please. happen. The first time we met, this was in 2009, in a festival that I was doing then. So Nils put together this band, Respect, with um, ladies from all over Europe. You were the one from Sweden, the trombone player. And uh, do you remember your feeling, the vibes of uh, this band that came, came over? Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a lot of my friends there. Uh, like close fr friends, and I also uh, Nils asked, "Oh, who who should we have as a drummer?" And then I had been in Paris, hanging out, writing some music there, and and uh, meeting uh, Julie Sori, the yeah. the drummer. So I 
I, I mentioned her and, and she came along and, and it was really f fun. But I, didn't, I did not know some of the girls before, mm. but uh, now they are really close friends. It's a super mm. great initiative. And in the same year you became a um, member of the, um, of the band here in, in, in Jazz Baltica. I was fortunate enough to come back uh, to work with the ensemble here at Jazz Baltica. Mm -hmm. For, was it 10 years in a row? It was, it yes. It was amazing. Mm. And I also uh, released some music on a German label, Skip mm. Record. So I started to, to be more here in Germany and tour a little bit with my projects. So I'm very grateful for that. It was like the start mm. of my, my, my love story with Germany. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because we love, I mean, and my band, we just love coming here <laughs> to play. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a different vibe. All my Swedish colleagues, jazz colleagues, feel the same. We all, yeah, we all love this, the German audience because it feels like you're so open. Mm -hmm. and uh, so welcoming and also very, it's an open vibe towards culture overall, more open than in, for example, Sweden. Really? Yeah, it feels like people take part of culture maybe in a higher degree mm -hmm. than in, in Sweden, for example. Like you go out, oh, it's an art ex exhibition. No, it's a jazz concert, it's a classical. And then you don't know, uh, maybe they don't, I mean, how could they know who I am, for example? I mean, yes, it's a uh, trombone court, from a uh, jazz quartet with trombone. Yeah, let's go. I mean, it's people just use maybe more used to going experiencing new stuff. I don't know. Mm.